starting our journey here at Green Meadow Farm. Green Meadow is a lovely old farmhouse which is now home to a community farm. Kate, tell us about the kind of things that you do here. Yeah. Well, we're a visitor attraction, um, so we do attract lots of tourists and local people as well. We get lots of school visits throughout the year too. And we um, have daily milking demonstrations and tractor rides. During school holidays, we also have things like pig agility and pig washing. Um, sheep racing, various activities to keep the kids coming back throughout the holidays really, which they love. You've got some quite unusual animals here as well, haven't you? We've got a good variety of animals, ranging from your typical farmyard animals, sheep, cattle and goats, up to um, pigs obviously, and we've also got llamas and alpacas and some smaller animals, guinea pigs, rabbits, we've got some quail, mm -hmm. quite a few chickens, so mm -hmm. yeah, quite a mixture. Lovely, lovely. We're on the edge of something much older here as well. In the Middle Ages, all the land round here was farmed by Cistercian monks from the nearby abbey at Llantarnham. And that's important, isn't it? Yeah. Tell, yeah. tell us about the Cistercians then. Well, they were monks, so they devoted themselves to lives of austerity and self-denial and hard work. And so they were regarded as very holy and local ruler gave them a lot of land round here and effectively in return for their prayers. But the key thing about them in the landscape is that they believed in self-sufficiency. They wanted to farm the land themselves so that they could separate themselves from the world. And even before the Cistercians came here, there were people living here, weren't there, eh? Indeed there were. And, and we'll be finding them, or at least looking for them, on our walk round and about. Uh, we'll see all sorts of interesting things. Things will take us right back, back into the past. Uh, we may see where one or two of them were buried. Wow. We'll certainly see where they lived, where they tried to defend themselves. We'll be seeing Iron Age things. Uh, and we'll also be seeing quite a few medieval things. So lots right. to look forward lots to. Lots to look at. So enjoy yourselves at the farm, then take a walk back in time with us in the footsteps of medieval pilgrims, wandering saints, Iron Age warriors. We're going to start back in the car park going up the old hollow lane just across the roundabout. It's been hollowed into the hillside by the steps of countless travellers. The new roads in the estate wind round and round it, but the old road just goes straight on. 